Hello everyone, welcome to Fallout 3. No, not Fallout 4, Fallout 3. This is the first time I've done an actual Let's Play video for my current Fallout 3 playthrough. I have been doing it on my live streams, but considering the last time that I actually streamed Fallout 3 was nearly two months ago, and I really want to keep playing on this character, I decided that what I was going to do is keep playing the game with this character. When I can stream it, I will. But when I actually want to play the game, I'm just going to record it and make kind of a normal Let's Play video out of it. So this playthrough is actually going to be a mix of, of videos and live streams. And if you're new to the channel, I have three live streams of this playthrough archived. They're roughly three hours each. So and if you're so inclined, you can follow this character from the start. Just did the normal start in Vault 111. Haven't really done a whole lot since I've only played... I probably only got about 9 or 10 hours on this character. Uh, currently only at level 4. character's name is Nora because I figured I was using Nate for my Fallout New Vegas character. I figured Nora would be just as original. Uh, but Nora is only at level 4 and like I said I haven't done a whole lot so far as far as main quests go. We've uh, into the second part of Wasteland Survival Guide. I've already done going to Landmine going to the Super Duper Mart, getting uh, radiation sickness and all that good stuff. Next thing on Mars list is to go test the repellent stick that she gave us. And that's the thing that's kind of going to be the next thing that we're going to do, but for today's video, I guess we'll have to start calling these episodes. I'm going to swing around this way and then kind of loop back to the tepid sewers. I haven't really explored that much of the world map. I mean, this is pretty much it. We've been up the minefield. The last live stream I actually left off over by, where are we here, Ever Moresti Station. We're actually in the station. We did the, oh, what is it? The Blood Ties quest for Lucy West uh, over in Megaton. Did that whole quest. Actually ended the last live stream in the subway station with Vance and the rest of the vampires in the subway station. A couple days ago, I played for a little bit, came over to Hamilton's Hideaway, cleared that out. That's when I decided I was going to do actual videos with this character when I wanted to play Fallout 3 and couldn't do a live stream. So like I said, I'm going to do this part of Wasteland Survival Guide next. My thinking is that before Nora goes and tracks down Dad and has to go into the heart of DC, has to get over, over here to uh, Galaxy News Radio Building, she's going to need some help. She's not doing. Uh, she's not doing all that great on her own. She's got dog meat. Dog meat really can't carry very much. In fact, he can't carry anything. It's one of the things I'd forgotten about uh, dog meat Fallout Three is he can't carry things. But he was actually a very good diversion for the Red Scorpions to Hamilton's Hideaway a couple days ago. He distracted those while I set off the landmine so I could blow them up. I am using mods that make the companions essential. Kind of like New Vegas, uh, when they go down in combat, instead of dying, they'll just be unconscious for a while and then they'll get back up because I just, it broke my heart the first time I played Fallout 3 and Dogmeat died. I had no idea that your companions could die. I just much prefer to have them be essential and uh, continue on with them through the game. I'm also using a mod that gets rid of the karma checks so you can pretty much hire any companion you want. Like I said, my thinking was that Nora's going to need somebody to team up with her to get over to uh, GNR. Her first thought was to recruit that raider guy over in uh, Megaton that she met, Jericho. But the guy wants a thousand caps to tag along. And that's one of the reasons I don't like having the karma requirement for companions. Jericho wants you to pay him a thousand caps. It shouldn't matter what your karma is. If he's in it for the money, it shouldn't matter that you're a goody two-shoes. You're giving him the caps. He should tag along with you no matter what your karma is. All that aside, she does not have the caps to hire him right now. We only have 665 caps. So the thought is before we venture off in the DC on our own, do a little work for Moira, make some caps, and then maybe we can hire that Jericho guy. Unless, of course, we can find somebody else along the way that doesn't require that we pay them to hang out with us. So before I start doing that, I kind of want to head over to, uh, to Megaton. 
I'm going to need to buy a backpack. And I haven't had enough caps to buy a backpack, so what I want to do is, uh, I can't remember what the ones that Moira had were selling for. So we'll head over, we'll go see Moira, and, uh, see if I have enough money to buy a backpack from her. Okay, before I talk to Moira, uh, let's just go over my weapons and stuff real quick. Kind of have to re-familiarize myself with what I have now. Oh, can I repair this? Yes, I can. Let's repair that. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about, let's go back up. Whoop. Go back up to the weapons for a second. So I've got a 10 millimeter submachine gun, an assault rifle. A combat shotgun. I got this off a raider over at Hamilton's Hideaway. I had been using the uh, double barrel, but I've been really wanting one of these. I was very happy to finally get it. Hunting rifle, laser pistol, or repellent stick. And this is a sniper rifle that you can get out in that hollowed out rock outside uh, the backside of Megaton there. Funny enough, if uh, you play Fallout 4 and go to the Salem Witch Museum, out in the back of that, there's a hollowed out rock with a bunch of stuff in it with a note. I can find it here with the note from the same people. Yeah, this this uh, from S and E. No idea who S and E are, but Fallout 4, go in the back of the uh, Salem Witch Museum. Check out the hollowed out rock. There's a note, essentially the same thing. It actually mentions Megaton, so it's kind of funny. Little Easter egg there. Uh, so what I was gonna say, on my weapons here, uh, the only mod change I've made since the last live stream, it was to add the mod BA Repair, which I think means Badass Repair. And essentially what it does is it will let you use a whole bunch of scrap items to repair your weapons and armor with, like I can use scrap metal. Wonder glue now is actually useful. You can use wonder glue to repair your stuff. There's a whole list of things, pretty much all the junk items, like I think it said duct tape, hammers, a whole bunch of things, but mostly scrap metal, wonder glue, and duct tape. You can actually use those to uh, repair your stuff now, which I think is very cool. And I'm also using this mod that turns any weapons workbench with the ability to uh, open up your repair menu. So, if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you find a, a workbench, you need to repair something, with this other mod I'm using, if I didn't have the junk components to repair my stuff with, if I have enough caps, I can, I can do that. Now, the BA repair, I haven't actually used it. I just did a quick test this morning to make sure it wasn't gonna conflict with the workbench mod, and it seems to be working fine. So I'm looking forward to giving that a try because some of my stuff isn't doing all that hot. Like my leather armor, it's gotten pretty beat up. And my repair skill is only, where's my stats here? And my repair skill is only 42, so I really want to bump that up. Uh, I'm gonna go over the skills here real quick. I haven't decided what kind of character Nora is going to be. Definitely gonna be into science. Although her science skill isn't all that great right now. She likes guns, so I'm bumping up the uh, small guns. She's very sneaky. She's very sneaky so far. She's been doing really good with sneak. And uh, her barter skills kind of suck. Uh, special stats, 8 strength, 5 perception, 6 endurance, 7 charisma, 7 intelligence, and only 5 each of agility and luck. And I believe I am playing on the hard difficulty. Again, if you guys haven't been following the live streams, this is the first time I played Fallout 3 in probably five or six years. So I'm I'm actually, the purpose of this playthrough is for me to rediscover the game. Um, I'm not gonna, probably not gonna go and explore every nook and cranny. I just wanna re-familiarize myself with the game and the mechanics, the story such as it is, and uh, 
That's pretty much it. It's it's not a super serious playthrough. I'm not role playing or anything. I'm just I'm just playing the game to have some fun. So so that's 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 my disclaimer. So let me stop gabbing and we'll talk to Moira here. You know, I think I found a new way to prepare rad roach meat. Still tastes like old feet though. Anyway, what's up with you? Actually, I just want to see if you have any backpacks for sale. Absolutely. Absolutely, I can look, or absolutely you have backpacks. Looks like she does. And I can actually afford them this time around. So I think what I'm going to need to do... These 50s are going to chew up pretty much all the caps that I have. But uh, I think I'm going to grab one. I don't know if it makes any difference which one I actually get. I don't know what all the colors are. Let's go with this one. I don't think I have anything left to sell her. Before I stop playing the last... You know, I'm going to sell the cherry bombs. The last time I played, the last thing I did was come in here and sell as much as I could from the loot the, that I uh, had gotten from Hamilton's hideaway. Good hunting. See ya. So let's uh, head back out. Uh, let's drop this backpack on now that I actually bought it. Okay, what does that do? So that brings my care weight up to 280 now. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Kind of goes with the outfit. All right, we'll go with that. All right, we're going to head back out into the wasteland. I'm going to put my security helmet back on. Um, all that stuff needs to be repaired, so... All right, let's head on outside. Let's see uh, what Crazy Wolfgang might have. Looking to trade? Um, actually, I don't have anything left. Nothing but the highest quality leftovers. Yeah. Oh, what do? Hmm, what do I have for stim packs? Let's. I have 19 stim packs. That's actually pretty good. I think I'm gonna gonna pass for now. See you out on the road, huh? All right. Well, before I get, uh, let me just see something here. I'm going to turn those down. This weather mod that I'm using, one thing about it is that the rain sounds are horribly loud. And I almost feel like it's drowning out the game. Oh, hang on a minute. All right. Oh, that reminds me. Um, all right. Thinking three things here. I'm just... No, oh, I can't. That doesn't... The rain sound on this. I know it's probably going to sound really loud in the video, so I'm going to do what I can to mitigate that. One thing I noticed in the live streams is that the rain is very, very, very loud. And I may actually have to go and edit the audio files. And uh, see if there's a way, way to fix that. Second thing I'm thinking of while I'm trying to uh, not die here is that I know out and back here along the sides of Megaton there's usually some mole rats. Yep. All right. There's another one. All 
And three. Oh! Oh, there's another one. So how many do we actually need to, uh... We completed the quest as far as the minimum requirements. On seven more. Okay, so we did... We did three. Kind of why the game is telling us to head down to the tepid sewers, which we will eventually. Uh, actually want to go look at these two locations. Now, these are from the 3D NPCs mod by Chris Takahashi, who, if you're familiar with Tales from the Commonwealth, that's the same mod author. He did this really awesome mod for Fallout 3. I don't know if these are mole rats or not. Um, Chris Takahashi did a mod for Fallout 3, basically the 3D NPCs. It's very similar to the Fallout 4 mod. Yeah, those are not mole rats. Come on. Alright, game did not... Game did not switch weapons when I told the game to switch weapons. I kept hitting... I kept hitting four for my shotgun. Game did not switch to the shotgun. Keep wanting to heal up here. Eh, that's probably good for now. Uh, what do I have for purified water? I meant to... Oh, that's probably good. Yeah, that'll be good. Um, I don't want to save my ammo on the assault rifle. Um, oh, stuck on something there. Oh, it's getting dark. Well... Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, it's 9.04. It's dark. Um, I don't have any night vision gear or anything yet. You know what? I think since I'm able to do it, rather than uh, record this in the dark, let's wait here for some time. Since we're not in survival mode, and this is Fallout 3, we can stand and wait wherever we want. Yeah, I don't have any night vision gear or anything yet, so... Eh, it's a little better. We'll wait till morning. That's eh, a little more better. Even though I'm no longer well-rested, that's okay. Uh, what I was going to say... We're gonna go check out these locations over here. I'm gonna kind of go up this way a little bit. There was... There's areas there. Nothing else showing up. And it looks like it's starting to rain again. I'm going to head down this way. And then we'll loop back over to the tepid sewers. What I was babbling about earlier was that Chris Takahashi, the mod author for Fallout 4's Amazing Tales from the Commonwealth, and also interesting NPCs for Skyrim, did a mod for Fallout 3. I believe it's just called 3D NPCs. And th those locations I just looked at on the map are part of that. In fact, all of these, let's switch back here. All of these locations are from his mod. Like Sewer Square Electronics, the Clarabelle. I don't believe, I don't, this, I think that is. Canterbury Commons isn't. All these locations are and I haven't been, okay, I haven't been to that yet. But all these locations are from uh, from that mod. So let's go and see what we can see over this way. I do have 
No. Which of these is my sniper rifle? There we go. Alright, so we have... We have the iBot. I don't have a whole lot of ammo for this, so... Yeah, I, I don't have a whole lot of ammo for any of my weapons. That's... That's one of the problems I'm having, is my ammo supplies have been rather low. Okay, I think we're detected by the iBot. It's like an interesting building over this way. There's a town up there, but I think I want to avoid the town for now. Looks like there's a whole lot of nothing back this way. Oh, what is this? Fort Independence. All right. I was wondering if that's what this was. Keep your head down, idiot. Raider incoming! This is actually what I was looking for. That all of them? If you're going to get yourself killed out here, you mind doing it further away from our bunker? I don't want your corpse stinking up our little patch of heaven. Well, trust me, I don't plan on dying anytime soon. Yeah, that's what they all say, usually just before stepping on a landmine. That I'm would be me. Anne Marie Morgan with the outcasts. Steer clear of here, and you should be able to continue with that whole not dying plan. Well, who are you people? We call ourselves the Outcasts, and we collect technology to preserve it from tribals and idiot locals. And before you ask, we were cast out from that company of Zeros, who call themselves Lion's Brotherhood of Steel. Way we figure it, if traders think we're too harsh in following orders, we're probably doing something right. Hmm. Are you collect technology? How do I sign up? I'm kind of a science geek. We aren't recruiting, kid. Old sap lions might trust walk-ins, but we don't. But if you want to help out, well, we might be able to work out a deal. You bring in technological devices, and we'll pay you a finder's fee based on the device. But Protector Kasdan would have to okay it first. Sounds good. I'm in. Um, can I talk to this Protector Kasdan person? Okay. But first you'll have to talk with Protector Kasdan. You can work out the details with him. Back to stare in awe at the outcasts? Don't you have something better to do, kid? I want to talk to Protector Kasdan, and I can't open that. So that begs the question, is Protector Kasdan any relation to Heather Kasdan, the most awesome Fallout 4 companion mod to date? Makes you wonder. I'm pretty sure that there is some relation. I seem to remember something about that on the mod page. I'm Protector Henry Kasdan, leader of the Outcasts. This had better be good. Hmm. Normally, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to a local. But Morgan tells me you can make yourself useful. So, 
Interested in collecting technology for us? I am, but I'd like to know more about the job before deciding. It's simple enough. Bring in technological devices, and we'll pay you for what you find. Big things like power armor or energy weapons are best, but we'll take things like sensor units or spare parts, too. You never know what's important. In return, we'll pay you with your choice of 556 ammo, grenades, stim packs, or right away. I'll bet they're more useful to you out there anyway. Oh, I'm definitely into getting 556 ammo for my assault rifle. All right, I'll take the job. That's what I like to hear. You can start immediately. You'll report directly to me. I'll take in your gear and dole out your pay. Now get cracking. Uh, can you tell me more about the outcasts? We were cast out for our dedication to the Brotherhood's true goals. Lyons wanted to play hero to the locals instead of doing his job. We were proud to leave him, so we kept the name Outcasts and wear it with pride. A big fuck you to the old man. He may have struck our names from the great codex, but we'll be vindicated in the end, and our names will be restored. Hmm. Well, tell me how you feel about the Brotherhood of Steel, although I pretty much have a good idea from what you just told me. Which one? The original Brotherhood out west, or the shit that Lyons turned it into out here? What do you mean, the original Brotherhood? I mean the Brotherhood from out west, back around California. We knew what we were doing back there. We didn't waste time with delusions of heroism. We were collecting still glowing embers from the ashes of humanity. Before civilization's fire died completely. We didn't worry about saving individual communities. We worried about saving the progress of humanity itself. So, how did Lines change the Brotherhood? Oh, he used to be as tough as the rest of us. It wasn't so long ago, we fought side by side to scourge the pit. But somewhere, he went soft. Stopped looking at the big picture and started trying to save every tribal and illiterate community he found. When he had us helping those savages instead of recovering tech that could help us all, that's when we objected and became outcasts. So, what's your long-term plan for dealing with the Brotherhood? The Brotherhood came out here to recover technology from the eastern cities and bases. If Lyons won't do it, then we will. And when we resume contact with the Western Elders, Lyons is going to be put in his place. Even if that place is in front of a firing squad. Notice how he doesn't mention anything about the Brotherhood being in West Virginia. Just saying. Uh, okay, that's enough for now. All right, then. Um, I do have a laser pistol. I mean, I'm not going to turn it in, but I want to see what he says here. Let's see what you've got. Um, yeah, this is kind of what I, this is the option I wanted. Um, kind of confirm what we're looking for. What are you looking for again? Power armor, energy weapons, and all sorts of advanced technology. Even some junk like sensor units or spare parts can be useful. Some of it goes into the archives, some of it gets used to repair our own gear. Either way, it's better in our hands than lying around out there. All right, well, I'm going to keep my laser pistol. Thank you very much. So that's all for now, Protector Kasdan. Okay, then. I have to go now. Yeah, see you. All right. Well, that was one thing I wanted to do, was make contact with the outcasts. And, uh, oh, the radio store. Oh, all right, this is the other location I wanted to... Oh, yeah, see, we have raiders up there. I just saw a raider walking across. Yeah, there's a bunch of raiders up there. So I think we're going to want to bypass them for the time being. Let's go into this radio store, see what's in here. Oh, hello, dog meat. Who's this guy? Virgil. Aren't you supposed to be in the glowing sea? Hey, are you friends with those outcasts? 
the soldiers in power armor? I wouldn't call us friends, but they aren't hostile. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't call us friends, but they aren't hostile, if that's what you mean. I guess that's as close as you'll get. They aren't exactly people persons. Most of those wackos would rather screw a nail than nail their own spouses. Or screw their own spouses. I forget how the joke goes. The point is, they like machines. Hmm. Well, who are you? What are you doing in this store? Getting to know my enemy. See, I'm with a group that tracks down lost technologies like the stuff you see here. But unlike the Brotherhood or the Outcasts, our goal is to dismantle this tech before it becomes a threat. Nora's been living in a vault her whole life, probably doesn't know what Luddites are. Um, after living in the vault her whole life and having the technology there and then being thrust into the world the way it is, let's go with, uh, with the world in shambles. We need technology now more than ever. I agree. We need furnaces to heat our homes, and a fridge to store our food. But I don't see why you need a tri-beam laser rifle to vaporize your dinner. I think I prefer my meat a little less well done. Have you actually been out there to see what wants you for dinner? That you might need to vaporize with the tri-beam laser rifle? Uh, let's see. So, why do you consider the outcast to be a problem? They're obsessed with technology, and that's never a good thing. It's that kind of attitude that put us in this situation in the first place. But right now, my problem isn't with them, so much as where they're living. So, you need something from Ford Independence? Just some information that's on one of the terminals. The problem is, the bunker's locked. Hmm... Well, I really don't like the idea of breaking into a place like that. I'm not saying you have to hurt anyone. In fact, my people pride ourselves in finding ways to do things without shedding blood. So, what exactly did you have in mind? Here, try this on. Just something I welded together while trying to think of ways to get into that fort. It's not as hefty as the real thing, so don't try to wear it into a fight. But it should be enough to fool those outcasts. Outcast power helmet added. Imitation outcast power armor added. Um, so what's on this terminal that's so important? Well, if you know anything about the military industrial complex, you'll know the United States Army was well financed. Some of that money goes to wars you're fighting. Some goes to wars you might fight in the future. And then there's funding that goes to wars you might fight after that future comes. On that terminal is the location of a weapon. Something built specifically for a post-apocalyptic hellscape. Hmm. So, how did you find out about this terminal? I just followed the breadcrumbs. You open up a terminal, and maybe it mentions a top-secret project. Then, you read another terminal that says a scientist on that project is being transferred to Fort Independence. I'd like to say it took a little more sleuthing on my part, but really, it's just an adult version of Connect the Dots. Hmm. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Good. Just put on that armor and helmet and you'll blend right in. In fact, I have no idea how they tell each other apart. Let's hope they don't either. Alright, let's, uh... Let's... Oh, we just got a new... I guess I missed the quest. Factory Sealed is the quest that we just just got. Uh, what was it that he just gave me here? So we have Imitation Outcast Power Armor that weighs five. Oh, that's special. That's five less than I actually have to carry loot that I find. All right, well... Can I take... Oh, I can take this stuff. I love the lamps like this in 3 in New Vegas. I think they're so cool. Alright, so... 
that begs the question, do we want to do that quest now? We want to wait. I think we're going to hold off on that. We're going to continue on to the tepid sewers. Which actually look like they're this way. We have these raiders here to take care of. I kind of don't want to use up all my 308 for this. Hmm. Got a lot of sway with this weapon, too. There is one right behind there. Well, let's do this. Uh. All right. There's one down. I don't know how many there actually are, though. Somebody over this way. Let's see what she had. Oh, there's landmines all over the place here. Take a frag grenade. I'm gonna take that with the intention of selling it. I'm sure that there are more landmines that we're just gonna well. Uh oh. Go for the arm. That did absolutely nothing. Uh oh. Tell you what, let's see what we have here. We have some psycho and some medics and some jet. And I wanted to take a uh, frag grenade. Oh, who's this? Don't let them get away. Duck. Uh oh. Teach you to mess with me. I'm gonna be getting low on ammo here shortly. Yep. We're very low on ammo here now. Duck. I'm going to kind of stick with him. Your facts ruins. Oh. Well, uh-oh. I don't want my friend to get killed here. All right. Is that it? No, oh God, no. Oh boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, run, run. That is a flamer. And I am on fire. Let's get the, uh... Frag grenades back out here. All right, my friend took care of. Is that it? So who is my friend here? Oh, well, I'm glad you made it through. Hey there. 
Uh, let's see, do you have anything for sale? If the price is right, make me an offer. Well, I would like to see if you have any ammo, which you don't. I will take, you know, I'm not gonna buy scrap metal. I'm, I'm certainly not gonna buy any of that junk from him. All right. Well, you happened along at a good time, sir. Thank you. Bye. I probably would have been killed to death if it wasn't for him. She has a flamer. Can I repair my leather armor with this stuff? That would be absolutely awesome if I could do that. I can. See, that's got to be from the uh, the BA repair mod because I don't know that I could ever repair that stuff before. That's good because yeah, my uh, dog meat's still in. Is that it? Dog meat still seems to think that there's somebody around here. The way he's growling, yeah. We got. I have an enemy marker over here. Um, I better heal up here. Whoop. I better heal up here first. Uh oh. Oh, there you are. Probably should hotkey these grenades. Oh, shit, there you are. Uh-oh. You had an assault rifle. And you have some 5.56. Five, hit dog meat instead. Where are you going? I'm very low on ammo. Very, very low on ammo. Where did you go? That's a great time for that to happen. Well, there's some grenades. More grenades. Well, I'll take them. Ammo would be better. What do we got here? Ammunition. Bunch that I don't really need. I need 10 millimeter. Ah, oh, there he is. Come on. There we go. All right, let's go see what he had. He had an assault rifle as well. So I'm gonna guess he's got some more 5.56 on him. Yes, you do. Probably can't repair. Okay, that's good. All right. Guys, I think this is probably a good spot to end this episode. Uh, next time I play Fallout 3, whether it's in a live stream or in another video like this one, pick things up right where we're leaving off here in the Fairfax Ruins, and we'll continue on our way to the Tepid Sewers to finish up that quest for Miss Moira. But I hope you'll stay tuned for my next installment of Fallout 3, and we'll see you next time.